So we got to end here now because I want you to try to find a way to get me a pool heater. <laughs> a natural gas pool heater. We should be able to talk. Like, yeah. really? It depends. Can you flash our 1-800 number up there? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to talk to Dan. I talk to Dan too much. So this is a bit different for you guys. Oh, this is this is completely different. Yeah, no, you, you do this every day. No. <laughs> we, we come from the utility world where uh, things are very predictable and straight lace. So this is this is a well, whole, this, this is a whole new. This is this is uh, this is unbelievable. <laughs> Nothing about me <laughs> or this is going to be predictable. <laughs> no. We love well, it. We're we're excited. That's fun. Absolutely. Well, that's I'm glad to have you guys fun. on. Natural gas. To me, I didn't know what natural gas. Well, I know what natural yeah. gas was, but I don't know. We've never really had it in New Brunswick. The last company oh. was here, but they didn't. You guys are all over the place. Yeah. So like you promote, promote, promote. Tell me. Exactly. So uh, in the utility world, they would call this more of like a greenfield market. So it hasn't become uh, well known across you know multiple generations. So like in Ontario, everyone just knows gas. Grew up with gas. They used it as street lamps. You know, mm-hmm. way back and you know many years ago. Um, here it's relatively new. We're talking twenty years, but uh, you know uh, some of the things in the past wasn't around promoting as much out in. We've the, had natural gas here for twenty years. It's been yeah, that long. Twenty it's years. Been yeah. that year. In New Brunswick. In New Brunswick. Mm-hmm. And there actually, if you go back, if real historians, there actually was natural gas in downtown Moncton before that that came from Hillsborough. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. Some of the older ho- homes still have the old infrastructure, so it's kind yeah. of funny to see it, yeah. but uh, very different yeah. nowadays. Yeah. But I see. Like I have friends in Manitoba and they're like, you have, oh, yeah. what's oil? Will you use yeah. oil for what? Everything is natural gas. Their barbecues are natural gas. They heat, yeah. They're heating their pools. They're mm-hmm. heating their houses. Everything is natural gas. And yeah. it... So, it's like buying... So, so a lot of New Brunswickers haven't got the, the chance to experience the convenience of the product, especially. Like, I mean, people hear about the reliability, but the convenience, uh, just they haven't had the experience. So kind of example I give to a lot of people, they say, well, why should I get it? I'll, I'll say, you know, today when someone gets a natural gas furnace or water here in their home, when it needs to be replaced, there's no question they're going to replace it with a natural gas appliance because they've experienced mm-hmm. yeah. the convenience and the comfort of it. Well, that's where I'm at. You guys, uh, I put in natural gas heat and the hot water. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The hot water is amazing because mm-hmm. yeah. it never runs out. That's right. Yeah. yeah, it never runs out. Actually, recovery is a lot faster in electrical as well. You're talking about 30 to 40 minutes to recover a, a water tank versus three to four hours with the uh, So am I saving money that way then? Absolutely. So I'm getting instant hot water yeah. and I'm saving money. There you are. Yeah. But you know what? There's people out there that are going to say no natural gas is more expensive. Do they say that? Yeah, no, I, I mean, I've yeah, heard that. Yeah, so so people, you know, make a lot of claims about different energy sources. I mean, some for different reasons. It may be that, you know, they work in a different industry as an example. But, you know, people who have gone through the numbers consistently can say, you know, there is good quality gas savings over options that are out there. So versus electrical, you know, there there is a there's a case to be made to show that homeowners can see substantial savings. Yeah, I'm going to say I had oil before yeah. and I'm saving money. Mm-hmm. And I'm getting the instant hot water mm-hmm. and another convenience is i don't know if you guys even know it or use it to sell uh i hate going down and checking my oil tank yeah and then you're away on vacation and exactly. you run out of oil so that's a common thing with like people who are snowbirds and stuff to go away they that's don't want to be they don't be worried about that yeah. i mean it's it's the delivery issues it's uh, shoveling out uh, the pathway for a delivery person yeah. it's you know there's a lot of yeah. and in an ice storm or something like that it's as hard for the company to deliver the fuel say it's oiled and you know yeah. we're, we're all yeah. buried infrastructure yeah. you know so. yeah so so our logistics and our infrastructure is all buried underground it makes it much more reliable. So we've seen recently there's been two incidents where there was a CN rail strike, and then there's also some protests that happened yeah, on we've rail. Had that, yeah, just so, lately. so just with the rail infrastructure and the trucking logistics in winter in the Maritimes, it gets very complicated. So we've had two serious situations where there's been a lack of supply for propane recently. Yeah, I've heard that too. So yeah, so there was customers who actually received letters from some companies saying they're either being rationed or possibly aren't going to get delivery. So, you know, that's a, that's another thing to keep peace of mind. You know, in New Brunswick, our weather is not the most stable here. So nope. uh, our plant is nice, buried underground, safe, and that's where the reliability is. So if you go away for the winter, you don't have to worry about, like, you know, some of these people could have potentially been away and, and not received a letter that they're not going to get delivery. Well, here we cannot go without heat. No. 
Yep. You, we need it. You need your heat. You will breathe. Yeah. Once the homeowner actually gets the gas as well, they, they find that you can diversify in what you do with, in the home with the gas. I mean, it's not limited to hot water and to heating. I mean, you can bring it in for the barbecue, so you're not carrying those 20 uh, pounders anymore to the store. Okay, so back. I'm not going to have 30 friends over, yeah. and the right. beer is out. I'm not saying if I drink or not, but I love yeah. beer. Did the, I say that? The steaks are half cooked and, and you're out of gas, right? propane. Exactly. Somebody's got to run goes away. Uh, you know, clothes dryers are very efficient on natural gas. You, you can heat nice. your clothes with a, you can get a yeah, natural gas clothes dryer. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's excellent. So there's no, st- there's no static electricity with the big dryer. Right. So, so, uh, you know, with electric, you know, you have so to throw in the sheets. Aren't gonna be That's stuck right. Out. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to peel them off, right? You know, it's a, <laughs> it's a, yeah, yeah we're not going <laughs> to. And it's a 20 minute dry as opposed to an hour. So there's another really? advantage there yeah. too, right? So. Well, tell me everything yeah. else. So I get my barbecue. So you do the fireplace, you can do the range cooktop or whatnot. Well, yeah. obviously, uh, all chefs yeah. so, prefer gas, yeah, right? Yeah, so we know all chefs want precision, right? They want to have <laughs> complete control. And when someone cooks with gas, they immediately know the difference. Yeah. Uh, the other one that's really interesting, especially in your home, is an outdoor fire pit. So if you live in a subdivision, you know, your neighbors don't always like you if, you know, throwing an old tire <laughs> or some, you know, some logs on the fire. But uh, you can have that fire pit and you have complete control. So, you know, if anyone Is that going to be expensive, though, if I have an outdoor fire pit and I have a flame going? No, it, I mean, it depends obviously on the size of your burner and how long you use it. But uh, I, I, for all in, I mean, I don't, I don't notice a difference on my bill. I've one at home and we enjoy it most evenings. Well, the neighbors, the neighbors are going to like you because yeah. it burns yeah. clean, right? That's right. That's right. That's right. Clean. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we're talking about the backyard pool heaters, a very yeah. popular one as well. It heats up the water quite uh, efficiently and, and, and rapidly. Okay. Well, if, if I have a heat pump on my pool, like air to yeah. air, like, you know, mm-hmm. the big black ones that yeah. everybody has or whatever yeah. they are, the big yeah. titanium. It takes, it might take two days to raise it five degrees. How long is it going to take me with natural gas? It depends on the size of your heater and your burner, but you can bring a reasonable size pool up to temperature in a day without an issue. So we had one gentleman uh, back in two, this is going back a ways, back in 2000, actually had a pool party and wanted to bring his, uh, bring the temp up for New Year's Eve and he used his natural gas heater to bring his pool up to full temperature. New yeah, Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Yeah. That's so, January 1st, right? Yeah. That's right. <laughs> okay. yeah. That's right. And as we're talking about winter, one of the big concerns for people is, you know, running out of power. So one of the things you can do with natural gas is run your generator on natural gas. So it's kind of self-serving. Mm-hmm. It'll actually provide power to run, say, your furnace and your hot water heater, or what, whatever it is, because in this case here, the uh, the, the power needed for to run the hot water heater and the um, and the furnace is very limited to uh, say the igniter and the uh, and and the fan itself. So it's not like. But would I need a gas generator to power my natural gas heating system? No. I, I mean, you can have a regular gasoline, but you can actually get a generator that runs off of natural gas as well. So now you're no longer running for a jerry can. But will whatnot, will so. they? work with each other like if i lose my power the generator is mm-hmm. going to go off natural gas yeah. mm-hmm. then that's going to self-serve the home self-serve the home yeah yeah, yeah. so you would have so. to put a separate panel in there there's a the switch you can well you have in. to do that anyway yeah so you yeah. want to make sure like you know big shout out to our electrical line and we want to make sure they're safe too right so yeah. if you have a generator you want to back feed electricity absolutely the system. Yeah. could i get a you can buy those little battery packs yes like it's like a big car battery yeah. fancy and it'll yeah. last for four days or yeah. could you plug that in yeah yes you could so uh, there's some mm-hmm. companies we are working with that are actually bringing that technology out so so high efficiency gas equipment does use small amounts of electricity for like fan assist and that's how you get uh, to get uh, high levels of uh, efficiency in equipment so um, as an example there was an ice storm one year where I lost electrical power in my neighborhood and I used one of those small power packs from mm-hmm. like Canadian Tire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that, exactly that, that what that I'm talking about. Because electrical equipment's a very small electrical draw. So yeah. yeah, if you do have a generator, it more than keeps up with your house needs plus service yeah. in your gas coming. But yeah, you could use a battery backup. Because if the power goes out, ultimately <clears throat> we all want to watch the hockey game. That's right. Or yeah. Dancing with the Stars, you know. I'm not, I don't watch that personally. But, <laughs> but uh, no more importantly is you need the heat. No judgment. Yeah, because <laughs> you watch it. <laughs> I'm going to start firing off some names and see if you watch it. No, no, nobody watches that stuff. Uh, no. But as much as you want to watch that when the power's out, you need heat. That's right. Oh, that's right. You need heat. Yeah, but that's incredible. Yeah. 
is uh, we diversify as well. A lot of people think you need a central heat system to be able to use natural gas, but we have like space heaters that are basically modulating similar to a, to a heat pump or something that fit right on the wall. Can I put one outside. of those in the garage? You can, yes. absolutely. Yeah. And they're a lot more efficient than some of the older solutions that were out before. So, Yeah, well, uh, I'm like everybody efficient. on the planet that has like two block those big electric block yeah. construction yeah. heaters hanging yeah. from yeah. the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Would it be more efficient to have that? Because I have natural gas at my house. They, they are because they do modulate. In, in, what do you mean by modulate? What does that well, mean? Well, they, they don't go on 100% and then down to zero when it's not being in use. It actually will use, you know, 20, 30, 40% and run longer, but be more efficient with the use of uh, of uh, the BTU to, to warm are the space. Are they noisy? Uh, very quiet. No, it's very quiet. Very Actually, quiet. I have one in my home downstairs. Really? So, yeah. So, uh, like, my home is an example. It was originally an electric baseboard home that I moved into, and I wanted gas, obviously, for many reasons. I wanted the comfort, but also work yeah. for the company, too. And uh, so that's one of the appliances I put in my basement to, to heat the basement. So the big benefit for us was we're a very active family. So I had young kids. They want to play mini sticks on the carpet downstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you've ever had a basement with electric baseboard, your floor is not comfy. No, it's not. It's cold, it's drafty, it doesn't feel good. So once we installed that, it gives the feeling, I would say, of almost like in-floor heating where it's warm and comfortable. So next thing you know, I'm down on the floor playing mini sticks with my kids yeah, yeah. and having a good time and they're enjoying it. I'm drying hockey gear, right? Yeah. Can't dry hockey gear in front of electric oh, baseboard. Oh, and they bring it up hockey. I played hockey with you. Yeah. Guys. So you keep playing those mini sticks. I do, yeah. yeah. Just, you need to practice. I'm, pro- I'm probably better at mini sticks than ice hockey anyway. So, <laughs> no, yeah. we play against each other. Do, yeah. I didn't know that yeah. just till like recently. I do. You yeah. play with the, the that doctor's team. I do. The Moncton Wild. Oh, uh, they're big, bums, man. They're big, bums. It's a big plug. We're, <laughs> we're known as a, we're known as probably like the most gentleman team. In the yeah, whole league. yeah. That's how I feel yeah. about you guys. Yeah, yeah. I love. Yeah. Playing against you guys, oh, yeah. like I love it. People get up for our hockey team. It's like uh, it's like the Stanley Cup every game we play because people know. love us so much. Yeah, it's because you guys <laughs> take you play like you. Oh, it's yeah. the Stanley Cup every game. So that's the thing in our dressing room. They used to have playoffs in our league years ago, <laughs> and they said they got rid of the playoffs because you know some guys take it too far. So now mm-hmm. instead in the dressing room they say every game is game seven. <laughs> so before they go, in, oh I don't doubt it. I like yeah. I love playing against you guys, and I didn't know you played for them, so it's yeah. kind of funny. They yeah. probably know who I am. Oh, they do. don't bring yeah, my name do. up. No, don't bring do. my name they up. Do. As soon as, as soon as actually the ad aired with Hello Liberty, yeah. they walked in and they're like, Rob Bridges. He's in, like, and you're totally like uh, right yeah. away. Let's like, not, let's him. stop there. Yeah. We don't want to see, know what else they said. Yeah, exactly. But I'll, I'll see you soon. Yeah. Okay. So back to that heater. Cause that yeah. interests me. Yeah. It's cause in my garage, not only it feels like it's burning yeah. millions of dollars yeah. every time it kicks in. Sure. It also, you can't even, it's so loud. Those stupid yeah. fan. Yeah. Yep. You know, it's hard to work in there, hard to talk on the phone. Yeah. Is it quiet? It's, it's quiet it's enough to have quiet. in your living room and listen yeah. to TV and it's not going to interrupt yeah. anything. It's got a quiet fan and, I mean, yeah. no 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 more noise than you find from a typical heat pump That's, in a home. Yeah. Is that the ones we're yeah. putting in here? In uh, yes, it is. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we're yeah. going to see that soon yeah. next week. You're actually going to be putting in that technology and from the same company, uh, the tankless water heater. And that's one yeah. of the big features that we offer to market as well is the opportunity to have a, a hot water heater that doesn't have a tank. So yeah. you're not keeping the tank hot 24-7. You can that's actually what I have at home. on yeah. demand. Is that what we were talking about? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, it's great. Yeah. yeah. So, so it, there's it, savings there as well. It is. It makes it, a lot of sense. It takes a bit of a long-term view. So like traditionally in New Brunswick, all, Almost every home has a tank type water heater, which are yeah. more inexpensive to put in up front. But over the lifetime of the appliance, you will see the savings on the tankless, and it's a lot of peace of mind. So most people in the Brunswick only change their water heater out when it leaks. Yeah. So now you have you know water damage in a lot of homes. So um, right now, going to a tankless that eliminates that concern. Yeah, it's and, and uh, you're you're well. paying. Yeah, that would be that's true. Because um, we, I buy a lot of houses, and they're always the tanks are always shot. Oh yeah, they're yeah. always old and shot. And the insurance companies want the oil tanks. Yeah. I mean, it's a big seller for us. Yeah. It's basically, people approaching us saying, "Listen, we have two months, and can you help?" Yeah. So we'll go in, we'll retrofit, take you know, have somebody take the tanks out and whatnot. And and for for uh, for most of the people, it's a simple replacement of the old oil furnace. So it's not that invasive. No. We use the current ductwork and we just kind of adapt to it. Or if it's a hydronic system like a uh, hot water system, we just basically swap it out. And we can bring innovation yeah. as well because on the water side, we can do a combination system. So it'll do uh, residential space 
heating with water, but it'll use part of that system to do your residential hot water. So there's savings there as well. You're not keeping that tank. Well, you know what the biggest time. savings is? Is when I go away for four days or I'm sleeping each yeah. night, I'm not paying for 60 gallons That's of right. hot water that yeah, I'm not using. Exactly. Or I go away two weeks. Yeah. Nobody's going to shut down their hot water tank to That's save, it. you know what I mean? That's 100%. it. Yeah. So it's kicking in, kicking in, kicking yeah, in, exactly. kicking in, kicking in. Yeah. Another part that's a little harder to measure that our customers are really excited when they run through like one year of bills with natural gas is yeah. that when you look at oil as an example, um, a lot of the equipment was oversized and there wasn't a lot of controls. So you go into some people's homes, fur furnaces on oil can be sometimes twenty to 40,000 BTUs oversized. So you go into someone's home and you feel that initial really big blast of heat and people do get used to that and they're like, oh, that feels so good. But, you know, realistically, you shouldn't be heating your home like that. You want to really get it on a, like a nice smooth plane so it can be energy efficient. So with our equipment, when we come in and we size it correctly and put the proper controls, there's a lot of savings just in the efficiency of the equipment because you're not getting that extra, you know, you know, all of a sudden the house is too hot and someone's got a window open. So, you know, in Moncton, we drive around a lot of times and we see windows open in February in people's houses and things like that. So, you know, it's like, you know, obviously they kind so of... So they heated too hot. They, they over they time. overshot, right? You know? Yeah. So, yeah. So you were in New Brunswick, Canada. Yeah. Um, how has the province, because you guys are new, like you came out of yeah. the boom, like yeah. just... Just, uh, I, I don't know if I, but I did a commercial with you guys. It's yeah. kind of how yeah. we, we met. That's, that's <laughs> right. We were joking about in the hockey. Yeah. I can't go to the hockey room because no. the guy's all, oh, Raw. It's yeah. like, oh, I, I like, get leave me too. alone. Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere I go, hello, <laughs> Jason. You know, it, 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 it was, yeah, it's, people loved that ad. So it was a really good ad. You, was, you guys did good We job. have a lot of people to give us compliments oh, on yeah. the commercials. Yeah, so good. kudos to you. Oh, well, yeah. no, I didn't so do it. Good. I just did what I was told. No, it was very, very well received. Act half silly, they said. Yeah. Probably. yeah. <laughs> Hello, Landry's. Nice hand, Mom. Hello, New Brunswick. We're Liberty Utilities, bringing the benefits of natural gas to more people. So, uh, but how is the province, re like, how is your reception here? Very, very good. Yeah, very good. I mean, the excitement level that we've gone through over the last, uh, last since October, and uh, th how we've been welcomed in the province, it it's been unbelievable. So uh, I would say Liberty Utilities, the thing that's different is kind of the words I kind of use is they think differently. They, I'd say utilities are kind of like a square mostly. They're very rigid. Yeah. They don't want something different. These guys are willing to do things different, and they really believe in relationships. So uh, our phone's been ringing nonstop. So well, I know. I've been switching a lot of houses, and it's uh, it's – you guys are busy. They, they brought a, some really good programs as well. I mean, you can do a rental program okay. on the equipment. So, so. I'm, a, I'm a resident yeah. guy. I'm just watching right now. <clears throat> yeah. mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, you know what? I don't know if I want to go with natural gas. I'm thinking about it. Mm -hmm. What does he do? So basically, just give us a call. We'll determine to see if you are on a natural gas. Can they uh, call you, line. like you yeah, specifically? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, no, absolutely. Cool. So the, the 800 number or, or me specifically. <laughs> you don't have any 800 number. Can you flash 1800, Dan? 800 Dan? 800 Dan. 800 Dan. <laughs> so they call you. They call us, and uh, we'll check to see if they're on a natural gas main line. <clears throat> if they're not or close to, we'll do a, a case by case. Uh, then, uh, if the person prefers to work with a certain contractor, we can uh, work contract of their choice or bring one of our own. Uh, we'll see the home, see what uh, what's entailed in doing the conversion. Uh, once we've determined that they're within a certain distance and they have the, uh, the, the, the right conversion equipment available, uh, we will uh, basically um, look at options of either purchasing the equipment or renting it out. Right. So you, you guys come in and do an assessment of the house. Yep. If it's available, you'll tell them what you can offer them. Basically. And then you have options too for... Payments, structures, That's plans. Right. So for most homeowners, a capital outlay of cash is, is a big concern. Yeah, nobody uh, wants to go fork out 10, 15 grand. Exactly. So we make it very easy. Uh, we have a rental program that will not only do a month-to-month -month on the equipment itself, uh, it'll also look after the installation of the equipment. Oh, really? Yeah. Because I, I have a rental on my old hot water tank. I don't anymore. So I could have a rental to you guys That's instead. That's right. Yeah. We'll cover the installation. And we'll, we'll do the same thing for the furnace. And we'll take away the uh, the old furnace. Now the oil tank is something a little different. We'll work with the contractor and and, and well, the homeowner oil and the contractor under, can yeah. yeah. Um, but subsequent to that, uh, the homeowner uh, will have the the installation uh, or the installation of the equipment. And temporarily in wintertime, we can actually do a temporary propane solution. Uh, once we get a permanent solution uh, uh, in place in the summertime, we'll run the uh, natural gas lines and 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 basically. Uh, 
you're, you're on. Now, should you decide to sell the home down the, down the road, uh, we can assign yeah, that, that comp. That- that interests me. So if I decide to sell, That's right. what happens now with all those leases? Yeah. So basically, you can assign the contract to the new homeowner, just like you would in any yeah. utility. Just like we do with Ambi Power Tech. Yeah, uh, exactly. Power, yeah. You, you'd want your real estate and put it in your... Yeah. That's so right. you just disclose that to your agent or your exactly. lawyer that you have this and you're going to transfer. That's it. right. And your rental program is, is a bit of a lease to own. So there's a depreciation schedule attached to it. So your second option would be to purchase the equipment from us and then uh, and then uh, make it part of the sale price of the home. I mean, price has changed and everything right now, but what would be uh, if I wanted uh, the hot water system, uh, endless hot water, mm-hmm. I want to heat my house, and I got a fireplace. Just a, a rough guesstimate a month for a rental. So for the hot water heater and the furnace, you'd probably be under eighty dollars a month. Okay, so uh, eighty eighty. Frankly, I'm probably blowing yep. that in oil because I got an old furnace that is not efficient. So most of our equipment we put in the homes are above ninety percent efficient. If you're going to tankless, you're you're somewhere around ninety five percent, and the uh, the furnace is the same thing. Um, if you're going to a tank, you're eighty three percent, but your recovery is so quick that it actually makes it uh, it makes efficient. it more efficient. So basically, your um, you're, you're basically, the, the gas you're using is used to heat the house or the the home as opposed to, uh, you know, putting it up the chimney with other sources of, of heat, right? Yeah. Where, yeah. Which just weren't as efficient. And part of our rental program also includes service and cleaning. So that's a big piece too. So if you ever have any yeah. problems 24-7, you call one number, technician Not Dan. Dan's not, no. not Dan. Don't call 1-800-DAN no, for that Dan. one. No, Dan, Dan, Dan needs to rest up to sell more the next day, right? <laughs> so, uh, but, uh, but yeah, it covers a lot of peace of mind. And then also cleaning is a big part. So oil, one of the biggest challenges people have is they didn't clean their equipment. So it might have only been 80% efficient or 75% efficient in oil, but the second it's not clean, they might have, they might have an appliance in their home operating 50 to 60% efficient due to the, the burner tip being not clean. Yeah. Okay, good. So the it's worth com- checking into. Yeah. The other components, most of the rental programs are between 15 and 18 years. Uh, most manufacturers warranty end after 10. Uh, for the residential side, we'll cover the differential. Oh, good. So basically, if something were to happen year 12, year 13, yeah. uh, you're not worried where the money's going to come from yeah. or, or whatnot. We'll, we'll be able to look after the equipment well, for that's, you. That's good. So, yeah. so all the maintenance is included in the, the program. Yeah. Are you guys from New Brunswick? Yes. I'm originally from Dartmouth, but uh, I've been here for about 20 years now. Do Dartmouth people say they're from Halifax? They do, because your whole, your whole thing when you grow up in Dartmouth is you want to be the other side of the harbor. So Why? Why is that? Everybody gets it, all frantic. It's nothing. a draw, but I, I should say Dartmouth has gone through a whole rebuild now where it is becoming quite cool okay. now. Oh, it's cool. It's be- becoming cool now, but Halifax <laughs> was where you wanted to be. When so you're... today when I, yeah. when I go, you know, I want to do yeah. from Dartmouth. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm not yeah, from Dartmouth. Yeah. But I always want to promote, because I don't think people realize New Brunswick that is cool here. Yeah. Absolutely. Where would you tell somebody to go if they're going to visit New Brunswick? Like tourist thing, what do you what would you like oh, to do? Oh, the national parks, yeah. the Which uh, one? Well, Fundy, Why? the Fundy, oh. Fundy's great trails, oh, nice, great adventure. I mean, you do if you into paddling or whatnot. I mean, there's all kinds of uh, venues there that Yeah, uh, Cushmacquack's good too. Cushmacquack's excellent. Yeah. A lot of walking trails, a lot of swimming, uh, if you're into, you know, skiing or snowshoeing. Yeah. <laughs> I love the beaches here. I was blown away. The first thing when we moved here was actually um, early September, and uh, I was just blown away at how beautiful the beaches were and the water was so warm late in yeah. the fall. That's uh, whenever I take people here, I always take them out to around Barishwa area. Yeah, we got nice, nice beaches. They're oh. like, how far from Moncton would the beaches be? Oh, 15 20. minutes? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 15, 18 minutes. Yeah. yeah. I like Point Sheen. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You ever go to the point? Absolutely. Yeah. It's in shit, yeah. But yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah, I grew up there too. Yeah. My family's yeah. from yeah. Point of yeah. Sheen. Yeah. I don't usually tell yeah. anybody. Oh, no. Yeah. But I, yeah. In August, I always take my son out there. We go mackerel fishing off the wharf. Yes. And, you know, eat fries. And, well, my dad lives yeah. there. Oh, yeah. My dad lives fishing off that oh, wharf. Well, that's where yeah. we, we grew up. There's Bridge Street down there. Jeez. Oh, I saw that. My great great grandfather. as well. You probably have. He's kind of rounder. So if you're in one of the more metropolis is that what you would say for the maritimes right. like yeah. moncton fredericton st john yeah saint john. we're actually in full 10 communities so you know we span out so we are in sackville dorchester oh, we're yeah. at yeah, moncton riverview and then we go into fredericton ormocto hanwell 
uh, St. Jo- St. John, St. George, St. Stephen. So, mm-hmm. I mean, we, we do have a, a lot of areas that we cover within the area, and we're, we're open to move to new communities, too, as people, you know, want our services. Yeah, and that's mm-hmm. one thing I want. I'm on Atchgas, so I want more people it's right. to, to join. It's, that's right. It's to your benefit. Because it's yeah. like a little yeah. natural gas club, no, right? It is a good point, because if you are enjoying it and people do want to move to, to think about yourself also, it uh, actually lowers everyone's bill. That's what I want. So, so, shared so yeah. infrastructure. So, yeah. the shared infrastructure. So it, everything within a utility and natural gas is very transparent. It's in front of the EUB. You know, everything's filed. And it's, it, it, it's basically based on math, right? So the more people we continuously keep putting on, rates keep coming down, yes, right? Yes, and I've noticed that a little yeah. bit. So it's good. So there's two different parts. So one is uh, how it's transferred uh, through uh, our pipes. And basically the more people put on. So last year we grew enough that, you know, we're, we're able to lower rates again this year because uh, basically how many customers we added. So we want to keep that trend going because it makes it makes it a better value proposition for everyone. Good. So if I'm in one of these areas that you mentioned, yeah. I can call you guys, no commitment, yeah. just to see if it That's even right. works, talk pricing, Absolutely. no stress, no pressure. Yep. Absolutely. Well, let's do it. Whether it's a commercial yeah. venue or, or residential, we're, we're there to help. Yeah. We, we also have a... Uh, uh, a good supply source of natural gas as well. So, Jason, I don't know if you want yeah, to talk about that. Yeah, yeah. So, what I, do you mean you have a good supply? Yeah, what does that so, even mean? So, a lot of people, like even, even some of our competitors, we get a little upset. They'll, they'll, they'll try and make this uh, false claim that, you know, there's less natural gas. Because originally, a lot of natural gas from this area came from off Sable Island, you know, so it came from Sable and Deep Pinook. Uh, we haven't been taking natural gas in there for quite some time. So we're actually connected to the North American grid for, for natural gas. So we're supplied from the U.S. and from Canada. So we can get uh, long-term reserves from Ontario or Alberta. And there's a tremendous amount of natural gas in North America. Okay, right so now. not running out. Not running yeah. out anytime in anyone's very lifetime. Stable. It's a very stable fuel and uh, not many spikes. Good. So we got to end here now because I want you to try to find a way to get me a pool heater. <laughs> a natural gas pool heater. We yeah. should be able to talk. Like, yeah. really? It depends. Can you flash our 1-800 number up there? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to talk to Dan. I talk to Dan too much. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming, guys. And if you guys want to try natural gas, we'll put the number on the screen. Have them over, see what happens, and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks right? so much. Let's do it. I want, thank you, you very I want much, everybody Rob. to Let's do it.